Hey there, plant friends. Welcome to the channel again. It's your host, Amy from Plant Venture, and I'm here with another fun pen review. We're going to have a classic, iconic fountain pen for review. And that is coming from Stipula. And it's called Etruria Alter Ego Fountain Pen. The presentation box is a bit different than your usual Stipula box. It is a clamp shell box like this. Inside, we have the pen resting securely into the pen rest. Removing the pen, we will find under it the warranty and maintenance guide. Let's get the box away and analyze the pen. This is the Stipula Etruria Alter Ego Fondo Pen. And it is not disappointing in any way. The Etruria Alter Ego was launched in 2011, so it's nine years old. This is my personal pen from my personal pen collection but I have a good news, more on that at the end of the video. Let's proceed. This pen is nine years old. It was made in a limited quantity. It is not numbered, but trust me, it's quite rare. And it's made from this beautiful, beautiful celluloid from Stipula. It has a crystal-like pattern inside this material and it's showcasing alternating shades of lighter, brown and darker brown, a bit of black and also a hint of red, which is gorgeous. If you put this pen in a good lightning environment, trust me, it's just stunning. I will walk you through the design features of this pen, then we will put it side by side with other pens to analyze the proportions and the design. In the end, I will share you my thoughts on this fountain pen and also give you the good news. The Etruria Alter Ego design is very, very iconic and it's what many call a cigar-shaped pen. Both ends of the pen are round. Then the overall shape is very, very streamlined and it's not having any breakdowns into the design. It's very linear, very flushed and nice. Moving forward, we have the clip, which is made from sterling silver and it features the well-known stipula leaves motif on it. Then if you look closer, you will see some Easter eggs and those are the trademarks for sterling silver, which is stamped on the side of the clip 925. Moving forward, we have the cap band and that is engraved with the stipula leaves as well. On the back you have another easter egg and also the trademark for sterling silver. I will show you a close-up of that. Something that I almost forgot. If you want to admire the true color of this pen, the back of the cap and also the barrel, it's a good place to see the entire material in its glory. Let's uncap the pen. We have one complete turn. Now we are greeted by the nib and this is the in-house made 14 karat Stiflex nib from Stipula. It's completely made in-house. It's very pleasant to use. It has the perfect amount of flex. It's available in a lot of sizes starting from ultra extra fine, extra fine, fine, medium, broad and two stubs in different sizes. And this is a bonus because I haven't seen on the market ultra extra fines that often. The 14 karat Stiflex nib from Stipula is offered with a ABS feed and that is keeping up quite well with the flexing of the nib in regards of the flow. I will show you in the writing sample. Both nib and feed are friction fitted inside a plastic housing which is screwed in the section. The Stipula Etruria Alter Ego section is designed to have this hourglass shape and it's very ergonomic and comfortable. I quite like this kind of sections in my writing. And you can totally grip the pen higher without worrying about the cap threads. Those are not sharp and quite, quite well polished. The barrel of the Stipula Etruria Alter Ego is what we call cigar shape. And I don't know if there is a certain look that defines the cigar shape but for me that means that the pen is tapering on both ends 
and is thicker in the middle or maybe not exactly in the middle, but it has a thicker part and is tapering on both ends. As you can clearly see, this is what we have here. The thickest part of the pen is right here, then it is tapering towards the piston knob. And also if we put the cap, we can see that the tapering continues down to the cap. And of course it doesn't have flat ends. On this barrel, we have the engraving stipula made in Italy. There is no limited edition number, but this pen is quite rare and it's not produced since 2011. You can admire the beauty of this celluloid if you turn the pen barrel and you get a clear image without any engraving of the veins that run into this material. Then there is this silver ring that divides the barrel of the pen by the piston knob. This pen comes equipped with a stipular piston filling mechanism. Why do I say this? It's because there is a small catch. It's not your usual piston filling mechanism because it works backwards. Well, in your normal piston filling mechanism, if you turn the piston clockwise like this, it will draw ink. Well, in your usual stipula, if you do this, you will expel ink. So in order to draw ink, you must move the piston counterclockwise like this, and now you draw ink. And if you want to expel ink, you would go clockwise. Keep that in mind. Let's put the stipulatory alter ego next to other pens in order to grasp the proportions and the dimensions. Then let's have a writing sample with this gorgeous, gorgeous T-Flex nib. And I would like to say the most closest nib to the T-Flex nib in regards of flex and overall feeling would be the ASC Bologna Extra nibs, especially the nib in the early editions of the Arco Bronze Bologna, that one. And in the end, I will give you the good news. Here we have the Stipula Etruria Alter Ego standing next to other pen models. From left to right, we have Leonardo Momento Zero Grande Desert Rose, ASC Bologna in Wild Celluloid, Stipula Etruria Alter Ego Visconti Homo Sapiens Florentine Hills, Stipula Etruria Rainbow Red, and a Rollerball from Retro 51. Now let's have some measurements. The pen Capped measures 148 millimeters, uncapped 130 millimeters, posted 165 millimeters, the grip diameter is 10 millimeters, the overall weight of the pen fully inked is 38 grams, and the weight of the pen body uncapped is 26 grams. Here we go. The pen. Stipula. Etruria Alter Ego. Now we have the ink as Iro Shizuko Suki Yo. The nib, and I'm hardly, hardly containing myself not to flex this gorgeous nib. 14 karat gold T-flex and this is a extra fine nib. Now let's check the wetness and this is quite quite a wet extra fine. Now let's see the overall flow of this nib and I'm going fast, as you can probably see. We don't have any railroading. Like I told you, the feed is keeping up quite well with the flexing of the nib. Now let's do something like a normal riding. So, normal riding. And now let's try some flex writing. Right. Right. 
as you can see, we do have a lot of line variation and we have from an extra fine line all the way up to almost a double broad line. Well, I hope you enjoyed the writing sample with the stipulated Truly Alder Ego. And to put everything in perspective, I like this pen a lot. And it has to do with the material, also with the shape and the way it's writing. First, let's start with the material. This is a very nice celluloid. I'm not a huge fan of the brown color in regards of pens, but there are a few that I simply like, and this is one of them. It's nice. It has alternating colors of light brown, darker brown, cherry red, and the celluloid, it's amazing. You can still smell the celluloid Moving forward, we have the shape, and I like this classic shape of the Etruria, which is a tiny bit smaller. And I have here, as a comparison, my Etruria rainbow. As you can probably see, it's a bit skinnier and a few, few millimeters shorter and very, very comfortable. I don't use this pen posted, but if you want to post it, it's postable, I just don't want to scratch the material. Last, it's the wow factor of the pen because it's quite rare. And something interesting about this would be to have somewhere to actually get one because they are not around anymore. Now, the good news. I managed to get a few pieces from Stipla, new old stock, and they will be available on the PenVenture website. Down below, I will leave you a link for it. You can go there and secure your piece. We don't have big numbers, just a few. And if you want one, you can have it in new old stock condition, new, equipped with the same nib as on this one, the 14 karat T-Flex nib, piston, and the gorgeous celluloid. Down below, there will be a link. You can go there and reserve your piece. Well, I think this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did so, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the PenVenture YouTube channel and help us do more quality content just like this. My name is Emi and I look forward to seeing you next video.